lot of us have been made to believe in the supremacy of these two alpha titans. Why wouldn't we? These monsters both stand over 100 feet tall, are extremely strong, practically unkillable, and when they do die, they miraculously spring back to life. Not forgetting the atomic breath-blowing Godzilla, whose destructive blasts somehow brings forth life. Both monsters have won their way into the hearts of esteemed followers, and the movie world has found a way to set up a face-off between the two. Their stories follow prehistoric events that date to the Dinosaur Age, which sees them and some other creatures, mostly found on Kong Island and villains in the movies, become the last standing monsters of the destruction that wiped out dinosaurs. The big question is, if King Kong and Godzilla existed in real life, would they be able to stand toe to toe with these monsters? And since it has been proved that both Kong and Godzilla can't grow as big or have an atomic breath as they are portrayed, we can say they can only be as big as the biggest dinosaur to have ever existed. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. This time, we will be showing you 10 of the deadliest monsters even Kong and Godzilla would be scared of. Carcharodontosaurus The Carcharodontosaurus will give King Kong and Godzilla as much trouble as it would give you in pronouncing their name. Carcharodontosaurus, which means shark tooth lizard, was a large, fierce carnivorous dinosaur that was spectacled to be able to kill sauropods almost twice its size. They were also believed to scavenge for food to satisfy their never-ending cravings for meat. Carcharodontosauruses were about 26 to 44 feet in length, that's about 8 to 14 meters, can be as tall as 12 feet at the hip, and weigh between 6 to 8 tons. They were among the longest and heaviest carnivorous dinosaurs, armed with enormous jaws and long and serrated teeth, which was said to be up to 8 inches long. They could bite through flesh like switchblades through butter and leave massive gaping wounds that would lead to the death of their prey. The jaws of Carcharodontosaurus are so strong, they can lift a prey or an opponent weighing up to a whopping 935 pounds. And if Kong and Godzilla weren't as big as the movie-verse makes them be, they would find the Carcharodontosaurus a tough opponent to beat. Its jaws, neck, and center of mass allow for it to do a lot of power lifting with its mouth, its primary source of attack or defense, depending on what the case may be. They existed during the Middle Cretaceous period, some 110 to 90 million years ago. The first Carcharodontosaurus fossil found was in North America, which was a skull and a few bones. In 1927, they had an enormous skull the size of a person, but didn't really have brains to match. Therefore, they were more primitive dinosaurs. To make up for this lapse in intelligence, they had powerful legs that could carry them to a top speed of 20 miles per hour. Another feature Kong and the slow-moving Zilla would be wary of. Gigantosaurus Another flesh-eating dinosaur that Kong and Godzilla wouldn't want to mess with is one whose fossils were found in modern-day South America, called the Gigantosaurus. The Gigantosaurus is a cousin to the Carcharodontosaurus and shares similar features with its cousin and the T-Rex. The Gigantosaurus boasts a higher speed, length, balance, and agility than its distant cousin, only it is smaller in size. Without Kong's fictional gigantic physique, the Gigantosaurus would be a formidable opponent with an even taller build. This guy was so huge, it weighed between 8 to 10 tons and is believed to be among the biggest dinosaurs to walk the surface of the Earth along with its South American counterparts. They belong to a group of dinosaurs called the Theropods. These are enormous, flesh-eating dinosaurs. Gigantosaurus aren't scared of anything or anyone and would take down anything like nobody's business even if it was a full-grown dinosaur, or at least, a more manageable juvenile. The only edge Kong or Godzilla would have over this legendary creature would be a higher intelligence quotient. They had brains half the size of a T-Rex's. Research suggests they relied more on their sense of smell for hunting, coupled with their athletic prowess. Another feature it had similar to its North American cousin is a set of serrated and laterally compressed teeth. Their teeth are wide in profile, but narrow from the frontal view which makes for an ideal weapon to deliver a series of deep slices to the body of their prey, which will most likely slump to death from exhaustion or die from blood loss. Ankylosaurus 
away from flesh-eating dinosaurs. These dinosaurs are not to be underestimated due to their digestive system makeup. They are nicknamed the living tank for good reason. Ankylosaurus, which were herbivorous dinosaurs, are believed to have roamed North America during the Cretaceous period between 66 to 88 million years ago. During an American Museum of Natural History expedition, the Ankylosaurus was discovered by Barnum Brown, who also took the pleasure of naming the creature. Ankylosaurus, which means fused lizard, is a four-legged dinosaur with a robust, broad body and a skull with two horns pointing backwards from the back of the head. It also had two other horns just below its primary, which pointed backwards and back. It was about four feet tall at stretch 25 to 35 feet in length. This sturdy four-legged creature had an armored back made of hard, bony plates that offered amazing protection against any predator. Even Kong and Zilla wouldn't bite through its back. And its specific name, Magnaventris, meaning great belly, indicates how large its stomach compartment was. They need to feed on a large amount of grass to sustain their 4.8 to 8 metric ton body. It had a strong sense of smell provided from its sideways pointing nostrils. As expected for a sturdy, heavy animal, the Ankylosaurus could only clock a top speed of 6 miles per hour. Coupled with its impenetrable back, Ankylosaurus possessed a club-like tail, which fused with the bones in the skull along with other parts of the body it used to deliver a bone-crushing swipe at any predator. There is a catch, though. If Kong or Zilla could find a way to flip it over and expose its unprotected underbelly, then it would be a different story entirely. Deinonychuses Being sturdy, heavy, and gigantic might not be all it would take to defeat King Kong or Godzilla. What if the threat came for the skies, at tremendous speed? Or if they came in a fleet of winged, terrible clawed, feathered dinosaurs? Deinonychuses were carnivorous bird-like dinosaurs that weighed up to 73 kilograms and were about 5 feet tall and 10 feet in length. Deinonychus were two-legged creatures, or what researchers would call bipedal animals. They were fast, intelligent, had large heads with sharp teeth that could cut through any prey and flexible. Deinonychus was armed with arms that had three fingers with curved, sharp foreclaws, and its feet had four toes with claws that were up to five inches long, specially made for disemboweling prey. Hence, the name Terrible Claw. Agreed, one Deinonychus would be a walk in the park for King Kong or Godzilla, but a fleet of fast-moving Jack the Ripper-esque dinosaur, as they always moved in packs, would be a nightmare for both titans. They were used as the inspiration for the scary, man-sized hunting velociraptors in the first Jurassic World movie, although they aren't exactly the velociraptors. They existed around 120 million years ago, with their first fossil being found in Montana in 1964 by John H. Ostrom. Birds are said to have evolved from Deinonychus, a claim that has been accepted by many scientists. Majungasaurus Next, we would be moving on to a dinosaur that earned itself a bad lizard reputation for turning on its kind when they need to eat if other options were not available. They were ruthless killers that were feared and avoided by any dinosaur not higher up the food chain. Ladies and gentlemen, enter the Majungasaurus. This was a large carnivorous dinosaur that also existed in the Cretaceous period. What a treacherous time that must have been, and inhabited modern-day Madagascar. Majungasaurus were apex predators that bowed to no one during their time. Weighing over two tons and at 18 feet tall with a small horn on its head, it was the meanest, baddest beast on the island. From what we got to find out, they weren't any other large carnivores walking around on its home turf, and if Kong or Zilla were to set foot on its territory, they would have it to contend with. Their short arms aren't built for grasping, but they rely on their biting prowess to deliver deadly bites to their prey and competitors alike. Their dental structure is different from that of flesh-tearing dinosaurs. They had a broad, short, muscular skull, which much better adapted to biting and holding until it died, very much like modern big cats. Before we proceed, here's a quick fact for you. Did you know it takes 15 seconds to like, comment, and subscribe to a YouTube video? Try it and let us know how long it took you in the comments below. Allosaurus if there were to be a Henry Lee Lucas in the Jurassic World, Allosaurus would be a grand contender to fit that description. The 3,300 pounds, 30-foot-long Allosaurus may have been the most fearsome and ambitious flesh-eating dinosaur 
of Mesozoic North America. They were estimated to have grown up between 39 to 43 feet in height and are believed to have preyed on numerous other dinosaur species during the Jurassic period. Its name Allosaurus is Greek for different lizard, since it had a backbone unlike any other dinosaur. They also had lots of teeth, maybe because of the countless amounts of meat eating they did, some up to 10 centimeters long, just a few centimeters shy of the full length small ruler, which they constantly shed and scientists have found a lot of them. An interesting fact about these dinosaurs is that they have the most fossils found in Utah's Cleveland Lloyd Quarry, a site known for having the most concentration of Jurassic dinosaur bones in the world. Allosaurus had a stout neck and a narrow, elongated skull, which was disproportionately large, like those of other big carnivorous theropods. Its mouth housed dozens of sharp teeth that are evolved for tearing through flesh and were at the rear edges. The bone that formed the tip of the snout held five teeth, while the maxilla and the tooth-bearing bones of the lower jaw held between 14 to 17 teeth apiece. Though they had a weak bite, the force exerted from their bite is like an axe and is strong enough to bring its prey down. Their bodies were supported by two powerful limbs and a large, heavy tail they used for balance. And when they chased down prey, they did so at a top speed of up to 21 miles per hour, making for a perfect mix of brute force, speed, strength, and stealth. Features that make them a worthy opponent against King Kong and Godzilla. Trudon Deadliness isn't always about size and bite power. Trudon, with an unsuspecting height of just 1.3 meters and weight of 88 pounds, was a wily whipping that made up for its lack of physical strength with a whole lot of brains. You could say they were more of the brains than power. It's been in fact proven that they have the highest brain to body weight ratio of any known dinosaur. Further research proved that there were more neural cells in the same area, do more efficient brain functioning, which makes it the most neurologically advanced specimen too. If there were to be dinosaur to outsmart King Kong and Godzilla in a fight or a chess game, it would be the Trudon. The remains of their skulls suggested they possessed huge orb-like eyes that gave them superior vision and the ability to see in low lighting conditions and hunt at night, along with stereoscopic vision similar to humans. Their slight frame made them extremely fleet on foot and hands they could actually use for grasping. While anyone wouldn't consider a Trudon much of a threat, a pack of alert and agile Trudon hunting as a pack could easily bring down much bigger animals. Quick question. Which of these dinosaurs' names did you find hardest to pronounce? Let us know in the comments below. Spinosaurus This guy was the largest carnivorous dinosaur to ever stalk the Earth. They were thought to have been as long as one and a half of the famous double-decker London buses. That is, about 16 meters and as heavy as a herd of full-grown Asian elephants. 20 tons, approximately 20,000 kilograms. If our darling titans were looking to pick on someone their own size, the Spinosaurus is the match. The Spinosaurus had vertebrae that were 20% longer than those of T-Rex, and on top of that, it sported a gigantic fin of skin held by two-meter-long spines protruding from its back. They lived in the late Cretaceous period between 97 million years and 97 million years ago, but were wiped out following a massive climate change that increased the sea levels and rendered their core means of sustainability obsolete. Spinosaurus fed more on fish than meat and was adapted for both worlds. They are believed to have lived in what is today North Africa, as most of their fossils were found in the region. Its crocodile-like jaw was equipped with smooth, conical, pointed teeth, well adapted to spearing prey like Onchopristus, a 26-foot-long sawfish. It also had unique structures that helped it detect pressure waves caused by prey moving underwater. In all, Spinosaurus were fast, strong, possessed a wicked set of claws, which means they could likely hold their own against massive predators that shared territory with. Maposaurus. If the Spinosaurus thought its size meant he wouldn't be challenged by anyone, it thought wrong. The Maposaurus, a close cousin to Giganosaurus, has a reputation for hunting some of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived, herbivores and carnivores alike. This enormous carnivore grew to lengths of over 40 feet, weighing three tons and hunted in packs. They existed from 99 million years ago to the Turonian age and lived in present-day South America, with fossils being found in places like Argentina. Maposaurus, or giant killer if you choose, 
had teeth that were perfectly made like blade to tear off a large chunk of flesh. Although a single bite from these dinosaurs isn't so fatal to the gigantic dinosaurs they so often attacked, it was believed that they simply just took slices of meat from their victims without actually killing it. Their victims would survive to provide more food at a later date. We could also conclude that they might not necessarily have to kill King Kong or Godzilla at any instance. They could just tear off flesh from the Titans and wait for them to die from the injuries sustained. Enjoyed the video so far? Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks! Velociraptors Velociraptors were fast and polished predators gifted with agility and intelligence. They have been misunderstood for a very long time ever since they made their infamous cameo in Jurassic Park as giant scaly dinosaurs that hunted in packs and tore their prey apart with sickle-shaped claws. The movie got a few things wrong. First, Velociraptors were actually covered in feathers. They weighed up to 100 pounds and hunted solo. Second, they weren't natives of North America. They had many traits similar to modern-day birds, like hinged ankles, swivel-jointed wrists, forward-facing toes, wishbones, and most notably, their plumage, used in slashing or harvesting the organs from their prey. Having bird-like characteristics doesn't mean Velociraptors could fly. Their arms were too short for flying, but their wishbone wasn't shaped right to support the flapping of wings. They were effective hunters with a keen sense of smell, a pair of muscular, solid legs that allowed them to take long strides and attain speed close to 24 miles per hour. All that coupled with very sharp talons and a jaw filled with serrated teeth devour any prey or apex titan. You a raptor. You think the Velociraptors were nasty and mean? Meet their cousin, the Eutoraptor. They were three times meaner and larger than their cousin. Eutoraptors were the largest, most dangerous raptors to roam the earth and would make light work off those close relatives like the Deinonychus and Velociraptors and make them look small. Their name was a direct result of where their fossils were first found. They were believed to have existed tens of millions of years ago in where is today known as Utah in the US. They measured about 25 feet from head to tail and weighed within the range of 1,000 to 2,000 pounds, which is tens of times heavier than their relatives. Equipped with a 30 centimeter long sickle-shaped claw on each hind foot, Eutoraptors were believed to kick, tear, and rip their prey apart. What's more, these big bad dinos weren't afraid to take down prey many times bigger than themselves, which they hunted in packs. Let's just say a duel with Kong and Zilla would be something they'd be up for. Besides from its bigger and meaner nature, Velociraptors shared common traits with their relatives. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wanting to know if it was possible that King Kong and Godzilla would have been apex predators if they'd existed in the times of dinosaurs. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over and we may even feature it in a future video. We've shown to you some of the deadliest dinosaurs to have existed, and if you think not one of them could defeat the Titans in a fair fight, and by fair fight, we mean without atomic breath and fictionized gigantic physique, then our number one has something different to say. Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex for short, needs no introduction. Its reputation as the supreme overlord of all carnivorous dinosaurs, and most badass dinosaur to ever roam the earth precedes it. Its name, which means Tyrant Lizard King, tells the whole story. It stood at over 16 feet tall and 49 feet long, and weighed an astonishing 15,400 pounds. That's more than the average weight of a 2008 Chevrolet Collins school bus. They walked on a pair of powerful hind legs and could run as fast as a professional athlete. Only they didn't have great balance. They may not have been the biggest, fastest, smartest, or heaviest, but the king was the ultimate all-rounder. Their impeccable sense of smell allowed them to track down prey over long distances and pick up scents of abandoned carcasses to scavenge. And that's not even the best part. They had a phenomenal bite, which was the strongest of any known land animal to have ever existed. It exerted a force almost as huge as its own body weight with every bite. Other predators might have to take several bites to kill their prey. T-Rex only needed one. We've come to the end of another exciting episode on Forever Green. In your opinion, what dinosaur would defeat King Kong and Godzilla? If you were able to pick a tag team to battle the Titans, which dinosaurs would you pick? Drop your comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.